Hey friends, welcome. Today's question is, if you had a content calendar in front of you with all these days of the week, and you had to fill it with content, what's your first reaction? Now I know for many of you, that first reaction would be, oh my God, I don't know what to do. There's overwhelm, there is frustration, there's lots of feelings that come up when uh, entrepreneurs, business owners think about having to create the content in order to uh, be more visible on social media. And specifically with respect, to uh, this week, I've been talking a lot about Facebook Lives, but content is content. And so I want to share with you what I call the three C's of content creation. And, um, you know, it has nothing to do with repurposing, but it, what it does have to do with is understanding the client journey. And so I'm going to share with you here as best I can. Hold on. See if I can do this. Oops, that's not what I want. Okay, maybe this is what I want. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. So, there we are. Maybe I'm going to do it this way because it's going to help you see it a little better. There we go. All right. So this is what I call the client getting a roadmap. And you will see on the left hand side, it's all about marketing those things that you're going to do to reach out to your ideal client. And the reason that Facebook lives is highlighted and bigger is because um, that's what I do these days. I'm, it's my form of speaking. But I also do blogs, I also appear on podcasts, and there's a lot of things that I do to get out there. So that is the marketing portion. But what I want you to concentrate on are the next couple of things. And you'll see underlined is I do the marketing so that I can get to leads or prospects. And this is what we call the captivate stage. So We've got a bit out there and we've got to capture their attention. But we also in this stage must captivate or capture their email address so that we can continue the process of moving down this road. So as I said, the first step is cap captivate. And the second is what we call cultivate. So now that we have um, the prospects, maybe in our Facebook group, maybe on our email list, maybe in a freebie challenge or something, we have to elevate that no like and trust factor. And we have to cultivate that relationship. The third C of content marketing is convert. Now, whether you convert through a sales conversation, whether it's through a webinar, whether it's through a masterclass, whether it's through emails, con converting is converting to some type of offer or some type of invitation to work with you. So the three C's are related to your client's journey. Where are they in your client's journey? Are they at the captivate stage? Are they at the cultivate stage? Or are they at convert? And if they say yes or no, where do they go back to? So I'm going to, I'll put this roadmap in the, um, in the comments so that you can download it. So those of you who are watching today, let's find out who is here today. Who's here? I'd love to hear in the comments who is here and where are you from? And if you're watching this on replay, you know the drill. It's hashtag replay. So who is here? 
watching in the wings because I know there's a couple of you, but some of you are just being a little, little hesitant about showing up perhaps. And that's okay. Come on, come on. So in the comments, I'd love for you to write. We have Captivate. We have Cultivate. And then the last is, not very good, Convert. It's only when we get all three of those that we really get some sort of clients. That's how we get that profitable marketing engine working for us. So when you are creating content, are, is your content, and I'm going to share screen again, is your content leading your customer down this client path? And is it leading to an offer? How many of you have some sort of offer? Say hashtag yes in the comments. You have some type of offer. Now, your offer could be a number of things. What is your offer? It could be your offer because this is where it is. Maybe you want them to download a PDF. Maybe you want them, and maybe it's a freebie. Maybe you have a Facebook group, right? Maybe it's watch this video. Um, maybe it's an invitation into a program. What kind of offers do you have that you can reverse engineer your content so that every single time you put a piece of content out there, it is relevant, not only to the problem that your client has, not only to the solution that you're providing, but to the offer or the invitation that you have. So there we are. See how this is reverse engineered. So let me give you an example. Let me give you an example of this. So um, I'll just use a different color pen. Here we are. I'll give you an example, and we'll go back to this. So uh, about two weeks ago, I spoke virtually to a group. <clears throat> the topic... I had a very specific topic, but it was related to this. Okay, so I spoke and then I made an invitation to a Facebook Live five day masterclass. But really, that five day masterclass. Yeah, it was a $47, right? Sometimes it could be free. But really, it wasn't really converting. It was over here. Because over five days, these people have gotten to know, like, and trust me. We have spent, by the end of the five days, we will have spent five hours. That's that know, like, and trust. So I spoke. I invited them into this, but it really was about nurturing that relationship. And I brought them into here. We're on day four. And this time I've offered a program that is called Content That Converts. Why? Because... I spoke on a topic that raised a problem. Okay, the topic was Facebook Lives. They wanted to know how to do that, but it raised another problem, and that other problem was really what I wanted to sell. So you can look at it in another way. 
Your content should be a spiral. A spiral. Maybe you, so let's take the Facebook Lives. In the talk that I gave, I talked about how today it was so essential to be seen more um, online. And one way to do that, one easy way, one inexpensive way was to do Facebook Lives. And so I gave them some information here. I didn't teach them how to do the Facebook Lives but I raised their awareness of a problem that they didn't think they had. And so then they joined me in a Facebook Live five day. Cultivating that know, like, and trust, they paid a marginal fee to learn how to do that. But that thing also raised another problem that they have. Oh my God. I don't know what to write or I don't know what to talk about. So it talks. So here's another offer about content. So I've taken them through. I've captivated their information. I've cultivated, but it all led to a specific offer. Three C's of content marketing. Captivate cultivate, and convert. Thank you so much for watching today. If you have a question about Facebook Lives, if you have a question about content, please join me for Content That Converts next Friday. Take care. Bye for now.